We get to do something special today. We get to tour over the air one of the seven wonders of the world, something that nobody on the Next Stop crew has got to do, thanks to our pilot Marina here. We we'll pick up from the south rim, and we're going to head east. We'll head to the south, uh, south of the East Canyon first, cross over the ridge there into the Zuni Corridor, find our way to the Little Colorado River, which is blue this time of year, which is quite special. Does it ever get old? I mean, we've never seen this, so I'm, <laughs> I'm stoked. I've flown over it like at 35,000 feet, right. but never like this. <laughs> I've done over 2,000 tours, and every day is something different. Up ahead to the right, that large plateau is called Nankuip Mesa. That is where the Navajo and the Paiute had a large battle. We presume for territory, we do know that there are cave dwellings on the other side of Nankuip near the river, where the wild buffalo live, the Native American word Tatanka. Now we just turned towards another landmark that's straight ahead of us. It's a red, it's a rock structure on top of that red Mount Brady. It's on the map called Point Brady. However, we call it the battleship because it looks just like one. And as we get closer, it will unfold and reveal itself to you. Now we do know there are hundreds of people in the canyon every single day, but they're just so darn tiny you can't see them. Why is it that this place is the only place in the world that has the, the Grand Canyon? Why is it? Why was it here? Is there a reason why, geologically, why it's only here? Um, the briefing that you saw in the building earlier should have told you not to ask the pilot questions they don't know the answers to. <laughs> I, I thought it might be throwing you a, a kind of a big curveball there, which I did. Well, it started with just the river. I'm just a small, basic river, and it was r relatively flat here. It, uh, the water wants to find its neutral again. It wants to go down to sea level, so it just keeps carving away at it. And with that initial carving, that's when the winds all start taking over as well. You'll also notice that the south rim is a lot closer to the river than the north rim is. Coming up ahead is the confluence of the two rivers. The Little Colorado comes from that gorge ahead to the right. Now the Little River, the gorge, and the land to the north ahead of us and northeast ahead to the right is all protected Navajo land, about 25,000 square miles. crazy down there. Look at that. Like aqua, aqua blue waters turning into green. That is, that's impressive. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. 